great big howdy do out there from all of us here at <laughs> UA Network. Yeah. Hey, with our good friend and minister and songwriter and so and artist. My goodness, what a treat in store for you folks out in TV Land on this program and the next several shows coming up. Yours truly, Billy Dale Sexton, along with Jonathan Bond, my lovely wife, Faye. And uh, we're going to get out of the way, and he's going to do a song uh, right now that was actually nominated for a Grammy back in 2007. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he's going to bless you with it right now, so take it away, Jonathan. So glad to be here with you. Here's you a great reminder today. God's still God. He took the water, he turned it into wine. He healed the crippled man, gave sight back to the blind. With just a few fish and a little bread, there were over 5,000 people that were there. God still got. He has not changed, God still God, He's always the same. Just believe and you will receive, He's waiting on you to say God's still God. God's still God. He took a drunkard, washed him white as snow, a lady of the night, he cleansed and made her whole. There was a body where all my bones were crushed until the hand of Jesus healed with one mighty touch. God still God, he has not changed. God still God, he's always the same. Just believe and you will receive. He's waiting on you. God's still God. What about you, friends? Are you living in pain? He came to say you don't have to live that way. When Jesus died on Calvary, He made a way for you and for me. God's still God. He has not changed. God's still God. He's always the same. Just believe and you will receive. He's waiting on you to say God's still God. He's waiting on you to say God's still God. God's still God. Yes, He is. I tell you, he has shown you that for sure, hasn't he? He has proven himself over and over and over. Over and over. What yes, a song, sir. what a song. And that was nominated for a Grammy. For, for a Dove Award. In, for uh, the Dove Award, It was yeah. Dove Award in 2007, uh, 2007 uh, nominated yeah. Song of the Year. And uh, it amazes me how God does any of that, you know. But you know, you're being modest again, but I think <laughs> you've got about 14... Dove <laughs> uh, uh, nominations, haven't you? Yes, sir. Over Even the for years. Song of the Year and, yes, and all of that in in the ground. <laughs> so thankful, but but honestly, and and I love that. And uh, people vote on that, and uh, and thank thank yes. you to everybody who voted. But that's not why I do it at all. Um, oh, that's why why why, yes. why I do it is is to be able to see people's lives changed. Amen. People yes. who are holding on yes. by, by, just by the last straw and they, they feel like there's no ray of hope. I, I want to come and say, Amen. Jesus is still Thank here. You, yes. You know, yes. Yeah, he's, your, he's your hope. And, and those experiences like you and I and I have had yes. builds yes, that uh, passion Yes, sir. That people need to bring back into the church. Yes, sir. You know, the church is set idly, set on the sides too much with a story for somebody, somebody that right. needs to hear uh, your story out Amen. there. Right. But listen, on, on this particular CD, this is so unusual <laughs> I love that you it. would have a CD, <laughs> my goodness, a 12, 12, not songs, testimonies, <laughs> <Right>. stories, <laughs> Amen. <laughs> that would actually be nominated 
for a Grammy. <laughs> well, you know what's so funny on it? We were in the studio. You know how expensive it is in studio time. Yes. So we're in the studio and we're working on this new project, but nothing was going right. Mm. Nothing was going right. Everything was falling apart. And I told the guys, I said, give me just a minute. And I walked outside and I said, God, is this Satan trying to interfere? Or do you have something here that we need to change our view? And he spoke to me to go in and put 12 of the stories down on the CD. And that didn't make any sense to me at all. But I trust him. So I went in and I said, hey, guys, let's change this. And uh, I mean, they had already been paid, so they were fine. Uh, everybody stayed in the studio wondering, what in the world is this kid doing? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know? Yes. <laughs> and so I began to share the stories on there. And when we got through, everybody in there, was, they had either laughed or cried. And like just the presence of God was powerful in there. Yes. And uh, I, I thought maybe I was just doing this for me to have a copy for my family, yeah. my grandson or, you know, and uh, people in the studio said, okay, I want a copy of that as soon as it's done. And so I called the guy who does our uh, duplication and I said, is there any way that I can just maybe get a hundred CDs of this? <laughs> and he said, I've never heard you order that small of amount. And I said, well, it's just more of stories. Uh, right, and yeah. uh, I said, I want to give some to my family, my friends. And uh, he called me, he said, absolutely. Well, he called me about a week later and he said, Jonathan, I took my, I listened to this and I got all of my staff, we sat down and everybody here listened to it and there are people who are not Christian. He said, there wasn't a dry eye in the entire studio, no. He said, I'm not doing you a hundred, I am doing you a thousand. And I said, no, I, I can't use a thousand. Like, I don't yeah, know what yeah, to do yeah, with a yeah. thousand. Yeah. Well, long story short, it now has been duplicated uh, over uh, over uh, well over a hundred thousand copies. Oh, got wow. nominated for yeah, uh, a Grammy and then you know went gold. And uh, awesome. <laughs> I was thinking, Isn't have something? mercy. Yeah, <laughs> you know I've seen some Thank of those you, in your studio. Yes, you know you got one of the finest studios around, but, uh, by the way. But it, that reminds me in the Book of Exodus. When God said, Moses, what do you have in your hand? <laughs> right. What do you have? Listen, folks, I don't That's know which awesome. camera I'm on right now, <laughs> but look, what do you have in your hand out there right yes, now yes. that you need to offer to the kingdom of yes. God that he, can, that he can blow that out of proportion just like this testimony uh, CD of Jonathan? Uh, By the way, I've sent some out that are bedridden, that are paralyzed. They cannot, you know, the, the books are great. But, you know, there's some people out there uh, that maybe they don't have the ability to really read the book. Right. Yeah. All you got to do is audio this one. That's Just right. put it on the CD player and listen to testimony after testimony mm -hmm. with a little music in the background. <laughs> on each testimony, yes, let you know I'm listening to this stuff. <laughs> well, man, it's a blessing. Your, your, your spirit man will definitely be fed. Um, definitely be fed. And I, I'll share something really awesome. I was in Nashville and I walked into this room. I was there to pick up the bus. I walked in this room and there were a couple people there and this guy said, Jonathan Bond, and I didn't know him. He was an older guy. Yeah. And uh, I said, hey, how are you? He said, I want you to know that God has used your testimony CD to change my life. That's it. He said, uh, and now now at the church where I go, we listen to one, one testimony every Sunday morning before service starts uh, off of your CD. And he said, uh, my, my life changed when I heard your CD. And uh, I said, I appreciate it. That meant the world to me. Um, but then uh, the guy that was with him, as he walked away, he said, you don't know who that is, do you? And I said, no, sir. He said, that's Jerry Reed. Uh, oh you know, my goodness! Uh, from the guy from the the TV show, and East then he, bound he, down. East bound and down. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, but uh, just just to know how God uses that CD to get into the heart of people and remind them, I'm still here. That's powerful. Yeah. You know, a lot of people are are they're <laughs> invalid, uh, for the most part. They're in nursing homes. They're in situations that does not allow them to attend church right, on a regular sure. basis. Folks, this is church. Yes, this is. is church in a CD Amen. right here. And you know, there's a particular song on here that has a real, that's based off of, uh, well, it's not a song. Right, yet. It's a testimony. It's a testimony, right. an awesome homecoming. Oh, Can wow. you share well, a little bit about that or I all of it? I would love to. When I, when I first got saved, 
uh, I was reading scripture where he said, my sheep know my voice. And he said, I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I said, well, then God, I want to hear your voice. I want to hear you. Uh, it's not how I was taught, but if he, if his sheep know his voice, I'm now his sheep. I want to hear him. So uh, I prayed every day, every night. Well, one Tuesday night, uh, my wife and I had gone to bed, and God woke us up and said, get dressed and go to Nashville. Craziest thing I'd ever seen. And this was, this was probably 28 years ago or so. But uh, we got out of bed, and we got in the car, and we left for Nashville. We were in a hurry and had no idea where we were going or, or even what we were going for, except God said. Yeah. We got uh, to Murfreesboro. I remember slowing down, and I looked over at my wife, and I said, what in the world are we doing? And as soon as I said that, God spoke to me the name of the exit. I sped back up and came to that exit, took the exit, stayed on that road until he spoke to me to make a right-hand turn and stop. Well, out of curiosity, I looked around wondering why we were there. Oddest thing I'd ever seen in my whole life. But everything in front of us was closed. Behind us, all the lights were out. We're parked beside an abandoned parking lot across the street from a nude bar. And God spoke to me and he said, go and ask for a girl named Angie. Mm. We got out of the car and we walked across the street yeah. and knocked on the door. Two people came to the door. One was the mean guy. Uh, and uh, he looked at me and my wife, knew that this was an odd visit. He said, could I help you? I said, I'm here to see a girl named Angie. And he began to laugh and he went to close the door and he said, sorry, son, there's no Angie here. But the other person that had come to the door with him was a young lady. She put her hand on the door and she said, wait a minute, Angie's my real name, not my stage name. Are you looking for me? She stepped out on the sidewalk. She thought we had come from the hospital. Tell Something's it. wrong with her mom or dad. Tell she it. stepped out on the sidewalk, and mm. uh, God began to speak to me yeah. about an event that happened in Angie's life mm. when she was seven, another major oh event when Lord. she was 14, and a major catastrophe that happened in her life when she was 20. God spoke to me about those three things, and it was, it was to prove to her he had sent me. Mm. And uh, when all that was said, uh, the last thing that I remember saying is, Angie, God's been there through all of that with you, and he's pulled you through, and it's time for you to be there for him. He's got a work for you to do, and Angie, this is your final warning. As that was said, um, I, I, I don't know if a blanket could wipe the tears, just yeah. the overwhelmingness yeah. of God. And uh, when, when, when that was said, we turned around and we walked to the, halfway across the road to the car. And halfway across the road, she grabbed me on the shoulder. Oh, she said, wait a minute, wait a minute, who are y'all? And I got out a card that said Young Harmony. That's the, the group I travel with. And I handed it to her and I said, I know this is weird to you, but God brought us from Chattanooga tonight here to, for you, and we're on our way back home now. And she said, no, this is not weird to me. Mm. She said, my dad pastors a church in Hendersonville, 30 miles from where we were. Right. She said, uh, two nights ago on a Sunday night, she said, my dad told me the exact same thing you told me, word for word, mm. except for he said, Angie, God is going to send you one more warning. She said, could y'all give me a ride home? Uh, oh, she got in the car goodness. with us, and uh, mm. my Lord, the, the, the presence of God in that oh, car wow. was just Thank amazing Jesus. to me. And oh, uh, yes. we yes. drove to Hendersonville, yeah. and at 2 o'clock <laughs> in the morning, we drove down this yes. driveway. Yes. All the yes. lights yes. were on, and there's a man <laughs> standing on the front porch. Oh. Angie got out of the car and she began to run. She was crying. She said, Daddy, Daddy. He said, your mother's inside on her knees. God woke us up and said, our little girl <laughs> is God. on her way home. Oh, That's who he is. Lord. That's the God that we <laughs> oh, serve. And, and I would love to tell you, uh, for your family that's out there, God knows where you are. Yes. Maybe you've walked away from yes, the Lord does. and maybe yeah. you, you've made so many Jesus. mistakes you think he doesn't want you. <laughs> he loves you. He knows where you are. And I would love to share a song. Yes, uh, this, yes. this song is just a reminder. God has not forgotten you. And I'd love to share this with you. Um, oh, I'm saying it, brother. No, yeah. no matter your circumstance, <laughs> mm -hmm. no matter your situation, mm -hmm. he knows right where you are. Yeah. And this song is for you. God has not forgotten you. This is for you today. 
you're facing a hard time your ropes at its end feels like you've lost maybe lost your very last friend I know it may seem that way but there'll be a brighter day cause God has not forgotten you God has not to do is call the name of Jesus, you'll see. That's for you. Amen. 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 And yes, it's on this. Let's talk about this CD a little bit more. Amen. These testimonies, 12 of them. Yes, sir. I, I've sent some out. You know, it's right here close by in Bedford, Texas. There's a man from actually South Africa. And, uh, and he, he loves God, but he's not able, he's paralyzed, you know, right. with that, uh, to, to get out and go. But he can listen to these testimonies. <laughs> yes, yes. Sir. Let me tell you, God wants to come to your house. <laughs> <laughs> right here. He wants to come yes, to your house right amen. here. And all of these books that we got here, there's many of them and many more to come. Yes, sir. Hey, amen. How do they get these? Oh, you, you just go to JonathanBond.com. <laughs> And uh, well, you, there's a place on there that says store. Click on it, and you got a, a bunch of CDs, a bunch of books, um, and more more than that. I'd, I'd love you to buy that because because that goes actually to help feed the homeless. I work with Extended Arms, a nonprofit yeah. organization, and that's where all the money from all the product sales go. Talk about um, it. Yeah. So, but but I also would love to hear your story, and you can just email me that. But uh, Extended Arms. Um, it, uh, we help to feed, clothe, and house the homeless in yeah. seven states. Um, and so amazing how God does what he does. Uh, and, and I have a good team that I work with, and I'm thankful for that. Uh, in 2020, I got a Lifetime Achievement Award from President Trump 
for the work we do with extended arms. <laughs> and you know, it's just amazing to me. Just, I, I love that. But I, I know that it wasn't me and our, our, our whole team, we all know that it wasn't us. It was all him. But uh, we, we now feed 5,200 people a month. Mm, man. Uh, homeless and underprivileged. And uh, there's so much more to do. And I've had a lot of people say, well, yeah, I can't go and do that, but I want to help. Uh, you can you can do there's several things go to extendedarmsproject.com and uh, you can donate money there for the five dollar McDonald gift cards or you can buy five dollar McDonald gift cards in your area and hand them out to people who are are struggling you can make such a difference um, I, I would love to say say this with yeah, everybody I'm sure. so thankful I was healed. Uh, from the car wreck. I'm thankful I can walk. I'm thankful that I can see. I'm thankful I can talk. All of that. But that healing is not what changed me. <laughs> what changed me was his love. Yeah. His hope when yes. there was no hope. No and hope. what this world is looking for, they don't know it. They're looking in sex. They're looking in drugs. They're looking in alcohol. They're looking everywhere. What they're looking for is his love. And you have That's that. Him. You can share it with them. Yeah. Just reach out. Love, yeah. love changes people. Yes. Amen. Yes. That's it. Changed me. That's Thank it. You, Jesus. I was eight years old. Yeah. When God first filled me with the Holy Spirit at a log Amen. cabin church south of Fort Smith <laughs> on Highway 45, and of course at, at that time our family were went dysfunctional. I mean, <laughs> off the charts, okay? Yes. <laughs> but so I grew up and, uh, and uh, I went through grade school, junior high, and then halfway through senior high. And in the course in, in Fort Smith, we, we were granted custody, six children of each other. That's wow. how bad it was. And we're, it's, it's that way even right now. But I was not taught the Bible. I was not shown what I needed to be shown. So I didn't grasp the change that really took place right. when I was eight years old. I went through all of that, I thought, man, I'm a weirdo if there ever was one, <laughs> because I cannot fit anywhere. Until 1965, I landed finally at a family, another family, who was an evangelist and knew God, A.J. Hudson in Fort Smith. And I saw their life, even though I was in the nightclubs playing music, I had a good band, God gifted me with the music. But it was all in the wrong areas until it caught up with me. And then I realized I just had an experience upstairs in a little bedroom. And I said to myself, I thought, I just want to belong. I just want to know you, God. I just, <laughs> I just want to do good. You're talking about goosebumps coming and hair standing up. It all happened. And then God was showing me. And then when I went downstairs, didn't eat, I said, no, if you, when you people get through eating, I, I, I want you to pray for me. I got to have what y'all have got. And when I came up from that floor with the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit, I said the first things that uttered out of my mouth, the log cabin church, when I was eight years old, he never left me, That's never right. forsook me. He, he never, he never altered anything, but he loved me all the way to his bosom and in his lap. Folks, that's what he wants to do, isn't that right? Yes, Donald? sir. Yes, sir. He, he has not forgotten you. I don't know which camera to look in, but he <laughs> has not forgotten you. That's the truth. The wonderful songs, Jonathan. So so true. Now, now that song, I, I write all almost all of my songs. That song uh, was given to me by uh, Mr. Eddie Crook when yeah. we were with his label. Yeah. That was written by uh, Deborah Shepard. Okay. And... Uh, uh, we we took the song to radio and God used it and uh, so so love how He just reminds us that He knows where we are. <laughs> like, we yes, can try to carry that burden. We can try to mm -hmm. carry it all, uh, but we don't have to. He carried that cross for us. Yes. All we have to do is trust yes. Him. But Take because him. because your feet were donated to Jesus. Yes. Sir. <laughs> okay. Because your mind, your eyes, your ears. Your heart <laughs> yes, was donated sir. to the kingdom of the Lord. And yes, it was sir. displayed through these books 
Yes, sir. That is God's way of showing that he wants to come to your house. Yes. Amen. He wants to do a visitation. Yes. He's knocking on your door right now. But if you'll open it up and get these books, uh, make a sacrifice if it is a sacrifice, because the sacrifice will turn in to a buffet of blessings. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and you know, I, I've been serving the Lord 31 years now, and uh, I want more. Oh, like, yeah. Uh, all the things I've seen him do, I just want more. I cannot get enough. <laughs> he is uh, amazing, a friend far beyond anything I've ever imagined. Amen. Uh, you know, and to, <laughs> to guide our steps and, and to say, no, not that way, this way, or, you know, just amazing who he is. Listen, oh, there are testimonies you, after testimonies, even on this sheet here, that there's <laughs> no way we're, we're going to be able to, to serve you the whole pie. <laughs> right. And these first few, uh, so you be sure and tune us in uh, mm. for the next all the time. But for the next <laughs> several shows, uh, where we've got a special guest uh, uh, of the kingdom that has stopped by to show you and tell you about one called Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The name above every name, oh, everything that he hallelujah. has. You, and Jesus. according to the book of Matthew, he has given it to us. <coughs> and Amen. it's a God, it's the Father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and, and so be sure and write, be sure and order these things again, Jonathan Bond. Mm -hmm. JonathanBond.com. Dot com. And, uh, and go to that page and go to all of that information. He'll have more information than we have time to, to, to <laughs> present today. Um, we're running out of time. But these books will bless you. But beyond a blessing, a blessing is an experience. But I'm telling you, when you come to Jesus, it's eternity. Amen. It's eternity. So this is the gateway of, of what God wants to do to bring us into eternity. Isn't that right, Sister Fire? Amen. God, God bless you for good. tuning us in today. Oh, and be hallelujah. sure and tell friends and family to tune us in. Yes. Our, 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 our broadcast times, you can get us on demand by going to uh, uanetwork.tv and you can punch Watch Now or you can punch On Demand and pull this program up over and over 24-7. Yes. But sure, be sure and tune in Thursdays at uh, 6 o'clock p.m., also Saturday mornings at 11.30 a.m., and hear more of the good testimonies that God has brought in the life of Jonathan Amen. Bond. Yes. God bless you, God Jonathan. God bless you. Thank you. So glad you're our brother. Me too. Amen, and we're in the family of the <laughs> kingdom of God. Yes, sir. Thank in you Jesus' too. name, amen. Amen. Don't tell Pharaoh his weapons of warfare. No longer have your Lift up those trumpets. Make a joy.